The Russian military is completing its takeover of Ukrainian bases in Crimea this morning. Charlie Dagada is in the eastern Ukrainian city of Donetsk, where Russian, where pro-Russian voices are growing louder. Charlie, good morning. Good morning to you, Clarissa. The Ukrainian Defense Ministry confirmed that Russian forces have overrun another base in Crimea. That's the last big one to fall. Finally, the order has gone out to pull all remaining Ukrainian forces out of Crimea. Russian flags are now flying high over military bases in Crimea. After this weekend storming, most are now under Russian control. Russian armored vehicles smashed through walls and troops took over the last remaining Ukrainian air base. Soldiers scrambled as gunfire and explosions rang out. Abandoned, humiliated, and vastly outnumbered, Ukrainian troops had no choice but to surrender. Now the focus has shifted to eastern Ukraine, where Russian troops are building up on the nearby border, and support for Russia is highest. They say they were better off under the Soviet Union, and they're demanding a chance to be part of Russia, too. Would you like what happened in Crimea to happen here? That would be super. She told us it's a fact. That's what people want. It's the will of the people. Not everybody here feels that way, but those who do are not going away. Another big pro-Russian demonstration is planned for later today, but the real tension of these reports about Russian forces massing along the border and whether this is an intimidation tactic or whether they intend to invade. Charlie and Clarissa. Charlie, thank you.